Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NWA Smoky Mountain TV. I'm your host, Matt Rhodes, joined, as always, by the man to my left in the cowboy hat. He Sneed and Bobby McElrath. And guys, we have one huge episode in store for the great fans here at the Elizabeth and VFW and for the fans watching at home on the CW4 and on NWASmokyMountain.com. We have a huge tag team main event, Bobby McElrath. We're going to see Chase Owens team up with eight-time world tag team champion Ricky Morton to take on the team of Lucas Angel and Jeff Baker. That's going to be one huge, exciting main event. Plus, we have some huge singles action in store for the great wrestling fans here today on NWA Smoky Mountain TV fans. Don't forget, you can see the stars each and every Tuesday night. Elizabeth and VFW post right down the road from Grind Staff Ford on the left side coming from Grind Staff from Johnson City. So come on out and join us 7.30 p.m. bell time each and every Tuesday night for the great wrestling action of the NWA Smoky Mountain. All the top stars of the Mountain Empire on hand each and every week. Let's get this thing kicked off in a big way. Let's go to the ring for our first contest here on NWA Smoky Mountain TV. There's the bell. And here we are underway with our opening contest here on NWA Smoky Mountain TV. Matt Rhodes ringside along with Cowboy Jack, Heath Sneed, Bobby McLeraft. And we have the Midnight Mauler versus the young up and coming dangerous Gavin Daring. Car and elbow tie up. To the corner goes Gavin, and a clean break from the young kid out of Elizabethan. I'm looking forward to this match. You know, Gavin Darren going against the much bigger Midnight Mauler from Tacula, Mexico. I don't know much about the Mauler, but the man is huge. Well, the guy from Mexico already doing some complaining to the referee, saying he pulled the mask here early on. That was purely a clean lockup, and here he goes again, car and elbow. This time, the Midnight Mauler with the advantage backing Gavin in the corner here. We've got a five count. I'm not even sure how much English the Mauler actually knows. Turned his back for a second, Bobby McElroy, after he got jumped on his backside. Now you see him heading toward the ropes here as young, dangerous Gavin Daring looking to put another win in the win column here for himself on TV today. He's been on a hot streak. He had a great showing at the Smoky Mountain Cup. Come up just a little short in his match with Alex Winters, but this guy has been on a roll, whether it be in singles competition or tag team competition and wrestling fans. If you love seeing Gavin Daring on TV, you can see him every Tuesday night, ladies and gentlemen, at the Elizabethan VFW Post, <laughs> right down the road from Grind Staff Ford, Elizabethan, Tennessee, good old Betsy Town, 7.30 p.m. bell time. We hope to see you guys ringside. Another nice spinning heel kick from out of nowhere by Dangerous Gavin Daring into the floor goes the Midnight Mauler. Midnight Mauler's looking to try to call a timeout. Mauler's out there yelling at these fans, probably in Spanish. They probably don't understand a word. They just know that he does not like them. I don't know if it's Spanish or gibberish, but he's yelling something over there. Well, you got guys from all over the world <laughs> looking to come to NWA Smoky Mountain, gentlemen, and make a name for themselves. And here's a guy. The Midnight Mall, the man behind the mask, and we know how much lineage the mask carries in Mexican wrestling. So here's a guy who probably has a rich history in wrestling background here behind him, trying to make an impact here in NWA Smoky Mountain. And it's going to take a little bit more effort than what he's showing right here, guys, to make that impact. But right now, he's got the upper hand. I'll tell you what, Gavin Daring, you know, we've seen him over the past couple of years. Really been making a name for himself. Took former champion Chris Richards to the limit a few weeks ago. Sure did. I'll tell you what. And Gavin Daring right now, though, is in a world of trouble. He's got him up here. Going for a backbreaker. And the Midnight Mauler is in control right now. You see that he may be signaling for the end there. That's right. That big Mexican stretch right there on the Ooh. knee. And this is right now is not looking good for the dangerous one, Gavin Daring, here on TV, guys. Right now, the Midnight Mauler setting him up to the ropes here. Ooh. Oh, and there's a shot right to the kidneys. And that hurts for sure. And Gavin, you see him favoring the smaller back there. Uh-oh, he may be going to double him over. Going for a power bomb. Oh, he's got him up. Oh. Ooh. Even worse, right across those kidneys. Once again, guys, lateral press. He's got the leg. One, One two. two, and an ear fall. Gavin might not be prepared for this international style of the Midnight Mauler. 
I'll tell you what, you see a unique and different style of offense mm -hmm. that this Mexican wrestler brings to the ring. It definitely has thrown Dangerous Gavin off his game here. But these fans, Elizabeth, and you hear them getting loud for their favorite star here, Gavin Daring, trying to rile him back up to his feet. And he looks like he may be doing so here, guys. He's not going to give up this easy. You see him coming back with a series of elbows off the ropes. Here he comes. Oh, he catches Ooh. a back elbow from the Midnight Mauler. Big elbow sending Mauler Gavin down hard. Frustration right there. Sorry about that, Heath. I'm totally fine. Right now, Mauler wasting a little time, but he's seen following up with a big splash, and there's a cover to near fall right here, nearly putting it away. Gavin Daring, though, as tough as they come, very, very young, though, starting out in this, in this sport. He has got a, about two years under his belt. You see him firing up with those stiff forearms. Here's an Irish whip up coming. Oh, it's reversed by the Mauler. Oh, a close line. And just when you think Gavin is going to get that second win, the Mexican cuts him off. Oh, nice elbow drop. Oh, and he follows it up with a blatant choke right in front of the referee. And there's nothing, nothing uh, good about that right there. Blatantly breaking the rules here. I tell you what, I've been watching this dude. I'm even sitting here trying to find something out about him on Google. I can't find anything. But from what I've seen tonight, the way he's beaten down Gavin Daring, I like this kid. For those of you at home who think he Sneed is full of crap, he is not. He's actually uh. looking up the Midnight Mauler on Google. But there's oh. that Gavin Daring right there, and that may be the end of it, boys. He's going to make the cover. He does. He's got the leg hook. One, two, and a near fall. Wasted a little bit too much time trying to get the cover, and they give the Mauler just enough time to kick out. You see a stiff forearm, and coming back again. Off the ropes comes Gavin. He catches him. High wrist style. There's a back elbow. The quickness of Gavin Daring now showing off in the ring. Midnight Mauler wanting to slow down, but I don't think Gavin's going to have any bit uh, of it. Gavin's staying aggressive right here, and that's what he needs to do. He's got a front chance reapplied. He's going to the ropes. It may be time for DDT. Time it is. Tornado DDT. That may be it. That's be it. One, One, two, three. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match, Gavin Daring! You know, with the size comparison between these two, I thought the Midnight Mauler would have had this one. Huge win for Gavin Daring here on NWA Smoky Mountain yeah. TV fans. Don't go anywhere. We're back right after this. This is footage you were never meant to see. It's Apocalypse, the Second World War, the first completely new film history of World War II made in decades. Now preserved forever on DVD. Shot by soldiers and civilians from both sides of the war, 50% of this footage has never been seen before. Smithsonian says it will forever change the way we look at the war. Get it now on four DVDs for just $59.99. But wait, call with your credit card and you'll pay only $39.99. Do it in the next 10 minutes and we'll pay shipping and handling. Don't see World War II secondhand. See it for yourself. Get Apocalypse on four DVDs for just $39.99. Call in the next 10 minutes and we'll ship it for free. Call 1-800-928-6276 to order Apocalypse, the Second World War for $39.99 and receive free shipping when you call in the next 10 minutes with your credit card or order online at timelife.com slash apocalypse. Right, here we go, Jeff Conley and the Stony Creek Madman, Brian Wayne. Jeff giving up a lot of weight in this match, Matt Rhodes. He sure is, Bobby McLaraft and uh, Brian Wayne, 200 and 290-some pounds of Madman. Craziness, Mr. Happy, whatever you want to call him, in the ring with the 196 pound Jeff Conley here on NWA Smoky Mountain TV. And fans, a quick reminder coming up on Saturday night, April the 30th, Kingsport National Guard Armory. It's the Southern States Wrestling Spring Spectacular. Great card of wrestling action stars from all over the Mountain Empire. We'll be in attendance, stars from NWA Smoky Mountain, SSW, and a lot more coming up Saturday night, April the 30th, Kingsport National. 
Guard Armory right off Stone Drive in the Allendale community. Come out and see us down in Kingsport on April the 30th. Back at the action at hand in the ring, we see the Army Specialist Jeff Connolly against uh, Brian Wayne. Here's a, here's a guy with a lot of experience in Brian Wayne, 20 plus years in this sport against a man who is approaching his one year mark in this sport, but a very impressive first year, I must add. Some impressive victories along the way for this kid. He has definitely learned this sport better than a lot of guys I have seen in my tenure definitely around star here. Pupil. Definitely so. We've seen a lot of guys come and go in the year of 2010. Some guys went down the road. Some guys toughed it out. And here's the one some guy. Some flames just fizzled down. That's exactly right. And here's the one guy that stayed strong and learned his craft and is learning each and every day. You see him firing up there on Brian Wayne. But the old Wiley veteran, old Bubba here, he's going to be hard to overcome for Jeff Conley here today on TV. Now, did they have the guys in the back volunteer for these matches tonight? Because I'll be honest with you. Yeah, Jeff Connolly has won quite a few good matches, but you got to be a freaking idiot to get in the get in the ring with a Stony Creek me, madman. So you're saying Jeff Connolly was coerced into this match? Heath, you're you're full of BS because that's that's a, that's a load of crap. Now, I've Jeff Connolly takes on all comers. Shut up just a minute. Jeff Connolly takes on all comers. Not going to sit out here and bury the guy. Jeff Connolly takes on all comers when he comes into the building. He don't care who it is. He's looking to put his boots and his tights on and get in that ring. Whether he he loses or he wins, he is ready to compete. Well, he better compete tonight because he's up against one heck of a fight. I've seen Brian Wayne do stuff that a crazy lunatic wouldn't even let's, think about doing. Let's go back and look at Brian Wayne's 20-year career. He, he is What was Brian Wayne known for in his in his prime? Hardcore wrestling. Exactly. Brian Wayne didn't care to throw his head into a wall the dude's or bust impervious his head wide open. After 20, what, after 20 years, he, he beat Frank the Tank Parker at the S, or at the NWA Smoky Mountain Cup, you know, and he, he fared very well for himself in that tournament. Jeff Conley has done very well in his first year. Look out. Pat did Jeff Conley double feet to the midsection. Oh, he comes off the ropes of that knee right to the chin, and Brian Wayne is down. Both men are down. The 10 count ensues. Who will answer it first? Or will both men stay down? I'll tell you what, Jeff Conley, you know, when we talk about this guy, when we talk about the NWA, you know, the man, the man represents what that second letter is, wrestling. He is a wrestling specialist out there. Look out. Oh, and, and you don't take a specialist for that. That's a clothesline, and that's a stiff one. And Brian Wayne just damn near took his head off right there. And right now he's wasting way too much time. He's got him beat right here. Make the cover, Brian. Off the ropes he comes. Blast. There you go. That's Just that it. little insult That's injury. It. One, One, two. two. Oh, Jeff kicked out. Man, the heart of this kid. Look at Brian's face. I don't know if it's heart or balls, but I'm not. When a normal something. man, when a normal man would kick, wouldn't kick out of that. Jeff Conley, he has been through boot camps. He's been through war. He's been through all kind of rigorous training. This guy is tough as nails. He doesn't look like it, ladies and gentlemen, but looks are deceiving. And Jeff Conley right now is getting it handed to him. And there's a belly to back. Folded him up like an accordion here, and Brian Wayne may have it. One, two. Oh, but a gracious. very nonchalant cover right there by Brian Wayne. Well, I'll tell you what, if you're ever going to criticize Brian Wayne, it's usually for going for the cover because he usually doesn't go for the cover very quickly. He usually likes to stay out there and hurt his opponent. I think he shows Ooh. going for the cover. Wow. That was nasty. That was stiff. Jeff Conley may be out cold. Oh, he throws him hard in the corner here. There's that hardcore style. Brian's getting angry now, and that's one man you don't want to get on get on their bad side is Brian Wayne because he will bring it and bring oh. the pain. Looks right out here and says it's over. Oh, and Conley rolls him up. One, two, three. Oh, that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match, Jeff Conley. Jeff Conley. What a win for Jeff Conley here on NWA. Smoky Mountain TV, congratulations to the Army Specialist. Wow. Jeff Conley, we're back with more action right after the break.
Wrestling fans, it's been an exciting day already here on NWA Smoky Mountain TV, and we've seen my guest at this time, Jeff Conley, knock off the Stony Creek Madman, Brian Wayne, just a few minutes ago. And Jeff Conley, you've been on one heck of a hot streak here as of late. You've been picking up huge singles victories at live events on TV and on the Internet. So you're on a hot streak. It's official. Now coming up this Saturday night, Old King Sport National Guard Army. It's the SSW Spring Spectacular. You go one-on-one -on -one with Jeff Baker. Your thoughts, sir? April 30th, Jeff Baker, I've been on the road with you. I know you. You know me. And what are you doing here? You want to say something, boy, say it to my face. Now, I respect what you did overseas. And I respect what you've been doing in that ring. You're far better than you should be, but you remember one thing. I've been here twice as long as you. And on the 30th, I'm putting you out of business for good. Hey, 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 come on! Hey, come on! Hey, come on! Hey, come on! Come on! I'm sorry, Matt. I'm sorry. I acted unprofessional. But you know what? April 30th, Jeff Baker, there's no easy way out of that ring. April the 30th, it's going to be one heck of a grudge match. Jeff Conley, Jeff Baker fans, you don't want to miss it. I would love to see him rip Baker's arm off. And Chase Owens may do so. So Chase has kind of thrown the, thrown the rule book out the window right there. You know, you, you look at his amateur background, nothing amateur about those kicks. Oh, no, not at all. There's a tag, and here comes the holy one. Lucas Angel, he, and he tripped coming in, and that may have been the window of opportunity that Chase needed. And you see the hip toss on by an arm drag. Takes the big man down here. Give Chase an inch and he'll take a foot from you yeah. every time. Lucas made a big mistake, slipping up in the ropes, wasn't watching what he was doing. And here comes Rock and Roll himself in the ring. Rock and Roll still lives on, oh. and it lives on every week in Betsy Town at the VFW Post. Elizabeth in Tennessee every Tuesday night. I can't stress in enough wrestling fans, not all the matches you see in Elizabeth and air on TV, so it pays to come see it live and in person on this Tuesday night. Come and join us. Great ticket prices, great night of family filled entertainment for you guys to enjoy. And you see Ricky Morton drawing Jeff Baker in the ring. A kind of reverse. That was childish. This is a reverse psychology here. Usually it's the other guys we see doing this. Ricky Morton's been around the block a couple of times in his 30 year career. Goodness. He knows exactly how to manipulate a match. I'll tell you what, I think they're taking a taking a thing out of the uh, Anderson book right there, going after that arm, taking that one body part and just pulling it apart. One, two, three, four, now here's where the Knights get dangerous. When you're in the same corner. Oh, there you go, Baker. Oh, you see Baker, the, the shoulder thrust there, but Chase is fighting out so much for your buddy's offense. Chase got at it pretty quickly, uh, but Baker coming into the corner with aggression. Looks like a light switch. switch is flipped, and Jeff, oh, oh. lights out. Oh. Chase Owens always one step ahead. Here's an Irish whip now. Baker off the ropes. Hangs on to the ropes. Uh, Chase up and over. Ooh. He lands on the apron. Oh, he pops. Jeff. Oh, he turns around. Oh, it is a drop kick. And Chase crashes hard to the floor. And there's Lucas, Lucas on the outside. Ricky Morton trying to come over and lend a hand, but the referee is pretty much whisking Ricky back to the corner. Jeff Baker in the ring doing trash talking. What he does best, running his mouth. This might be the difference maker right here in this match. Jeff was trying to keep oh. Ricky Morton at bay, but now Ricky Morton's out of the ring. This, oh, goodness gracious. Oh, man. What? Oh, Jeff lays the knee in the midsection. There you go. He's got him. He may be too close to the ropes here. Oh, Chase kicks out. He don't even get down for one, and Chase kicks out. Referee just a hair slow trying to keep up with all the yeah, fast -paced commotion in the it's, it's ring. crazy yeah. right now, He. Oh, Chase. Oh, send hard to there buckle. There you go. Sin hard across the ring. And now Jeff Baker slowly following up, now choking the life out of Chase Owens. Here comes Ricky from behind. He's got him, but the referee pulls him back. And, you know, unfortunately, the ref's got to do his job here. He allows for no a double, double team. team. Turn around. Bad body oh, oh, Chase about a 360 in midair. Beautiful. And that may be it here. One, two, and an air fall. Mr. Knight would have been proud of that one. Oh, man, I'm sure he's loving this, watching wherever exotic place he is right now, enjoying this. He don't have to watch it. He knows exactly what's going on. 
Right now, Jeff Lucas Angel win. in control. Chase Owens has been beat down here pretty badly in the past couple of minutes, guys. Oh, now Lucas rammed hard in the corner. Chase is trying to fight back. He needs to get of, his wind about him. Oh. You guys talk about Rob Knight not being here. Shows a lot of confidence in his men by not being here. Last here. I heard, he was in exotic Atlanta hanging out down there. I'm sure he'll be back here in Elizabethan soon enough. Here's a lateral press by Lucas Angel. But the ref's got his back turned. It may be the match, it may be the saving grace for Chase Owens right here. He may be done. One, two, and oh, he kicks out. Barely in the nick of time, so Ricky Morton saves the match for the moment for his partner. But you see the blatant double team here. The ref needs to get one in and one out here. This is ridiculous, come on. This referee has lost control. Oh, man, that's a hard steel turnbuckle underneath that little padding you see in the corner. And, and that, that doesn't, that don't feel good. Look at the whelps on Noah's not. back. That could have broke some ribs if it was done hard enough. And All it Ricky. just might have been. Oh, now Jeff Baker choking Chase Owens over the middle rope. Oh, my goodness. Laying in those elbows and forearms. Chase getting permalized here on TV. Chris, there's Luke a lot of the press. One, One, two, two. and an air fall. The Knights have this match squarely in their, their hands right now. Oh, definitely. Exciting contest it's been. And here's Chase coming back. Fire it up. Oh, he cuts him off of the clothesline. Fire it up, but he snuffed it out real quick. Luke going now for the pin. One, two. Chase kicked out again. Just that little glimmer of hope, guys. And Just Lucas cut him out. There's a kick out again by Chase Owens. And Fans, Lucas. if you're enjoying all the great action you see here on NWA Smoky Mountain TV, we invite you guys to come down and check us out. Saturday night, April the 30th, SSW, Spring Spectacular, Kingsport National Guard Army fans. Be sure to check that out. And coming up on Saturday night, May the 7th, wrestling stars from the NWA will be in Grundy, Virginia. Huge night of wrestling action there. Visit NWA Smoky Mountain and southernstateswrestling.net for more information. And Chase gets the elbow up here. Maybe the sign of a comeback. He needs to try to get his wits about him. Here he comes. Oh, oh Jeff got ooh. him with what a flatliner in the corner. I've never seen Jeff do that before, what but that was beautiful. Favorite. Chase may be busted open here and a near fall, <laughs> and that had to be pure adrenaline, guys, him kicking out of that because that would put anybody else down. i got to say, I give Jeff Baker a lot of credit on that move. Right oh, there. open hand slap, and he just slapped uh. the piss out of his mouth. Look out. And let's see it. Yeah, yes, sir. Oh, man. Here we go. Chase coming back off the ropes. Oh, he kicks Lucas in the face. Ooh, oh. nice double team move. And Chase takes them both down. Now he's he, in turn, he in turn made Jeff DDT his own partner. Did you catch that? Smart wrestling by Chase Owens. Pretty oh much God. whipping two men's hind wow. ends in the past couple of seconds. But Chase is down, crawling toward the wrong Come on, corner. Jeff. Come on, Luke. Can he make the tag? Yes, he does. There and here comes Ricky. And there's a right hand for Baker. And there's a right for Lucas. And he is bumping him all over the place. A close line. The and Ricky Morton's in control. And Chase is back in the thing here. And all heck's broken loose here. All four men are in the ring. And here we go, maybe. A double knock and knocker again. Oh, Lucas. Man. Time. Food to the midsection. Irish whip now. Lucas off the ropes. Roaring. Elbow. And he stands again. And that time he goes down. Oh, that come on, Luke. One, two, three. That's it. The winner of the match, Ricky Morton and Chase Owens. Oh. Chase Owens, huge victory. I really don't want to have to make this call to Rob here in a minute. What a match. What a match. And Chase Owens and rock and roll. Ricky Morton are victorious here on NWA Rookie Mountain TV. It has been an action-packed day here on NWA Smoky Mountain TV. 
But right now, we're going to address some shocking things that have went down in the past week between here and NWA Smoky Mountain and on the Southern States Wrestling Power Half Hour. At this time, please make welcome to the ringside area the SSW Women's Champion, Ashley Hope. Hello, Ashley Hope, and I tell you what, I am still shocked that you have that belt around your waist. That says a woman's wrestling champion. You're not a wrestler, and you know you're not. These fans know that you're not a wrestler, and Misty James knows that you're not a wrestler. You lucked into that title. Cole Layton King helped you win that title. And Cole Layton King's lawyers and all this stuff is not going to buy you out of defending that title because well, what comes with the territory of being a champion, Ashley, is you have to defend the title night in and night out all across the country. Southern States Wrestling is a great wrestling organization that is represented all throughout the United States. Are you prepared to defend that title? Let me tell you something, Matt Rhodes. Cole and King's lawyers are looking at contracts left and right, and I'm not going to have to get in the ring and wrestle. And let me tell you another thing. This belt looks way better on me than it ever did on Misty James, the queen of trash. I'll beg to differ with you on that. Now, coming, Misty James lost that title last week on the Power Half Hour. Now, you have a business management degree. Now, you know how the wrestling business operates. When a title match is signed, there's an automatic rematch clause that is instilled in every single contract that is signed. Misty James has a rematch for that title, and somewhere down the road, she will invoke that rematch clause, and you'll have no choice but to step between the ropes and get in the ring and go one-on-one -on -one with the Queen of Kings sport, Misty James, Ashley. Don't get your hopes up, Matt, because it's not happening. You know, speaking of getting inside the ring with Misty James, I got a little bit of announcement to pass along to you. This coming Tuesday night, Elizabethan VFW Post, just to, right down the road from Grindstaff Ford and Elizabethan, you will be teaming up with Scott Sterling to take on Misty James and Bo James. Uh, no, not, not going to happen, Matt. Definitely not going to happen. The commissioner of the NWA Smoky Mountain, the commissioners of SSW have signed the match. It will take place. Look out. Hang on a minute. I don't think so. And we've seen what this thing can do, and Misty, you probably have the knot on your head to prove it. Yes, I do. You want to see what's in this pocketbook? You fans at home want to see what's here? Let's look in it. Come on. What? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Uh. Hear that? Oh, my God. No wonder you have a knot on the side of your head. Do you see that? Ashley Hope's days are numbered. I know, Misty. Tell them about it. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe she had this in her purse. No wonder I had a headache. No wonder I was knocked out for about 15, 20 minutes. No wonder I was so dazed and confused. Ashley Hope, Tuesday here in Elizabethan next week. Girl, I'm going to get my hands on you. And I don't need anything like this. Ashley Hope, Tuesday here in Elizabethan. What I get my hands on you, girl, I just can't wait. And let me tell you one thing. What I don't finish here in Elizabethan, I'm going to finish you off Saturday night, April the 30th, in Keysport at the National Guard Armory. Girl, you're going to be mine. Fans, it's a must-see event this coming Tuesday night. Elizabethan, Tennessee's VFW, 7.30 p.m. bell time. Fans, don't miss it. We're out of time. Thanks for joining us for NWA Smoky Mountain TV. We'll see you same time, same place next week. So long for now.